hello hello guys uh here we have a dvr i believe this is for recording purposes i'm not familiar with this thing but it came to me for repair it's totally dead not turning on at all this is a dvr it's the power we have a power section here we receive a power from here and then it goes underneath the power rails come here on the switch after a switch it goes it goes where it goes here and again uh you know guys when we deal with uh with the machines that are not turning on the motherboard they are not powering on what is the first thing that we do if you remember very well we check our power which in this case is 12 volts 12 volts is okay i did check the the, the, the thing that connects here 12 volts was okay but the problem is here when we are doing a physical inspection i'm not sure if you can see okay I'm pretty sure you are aware what are those these are electrolytic capacitors and they are they are damaged as you can see uh the thing the top part it's no longer flat so we have to replace them all of them and then we will try to turn it on after that but for now let's try let's remove actually let's remove all of those electrolytic capacitors all of them and then see if the board will turn on or or not we need a wick we need plugs lastly we need the thing the soldering wire and then obvious you need a soldering wire soldering iron i have the replacement capacitors here brand new from the shop so what you do is you take your board and then you flip it flip it around there it is Anyway, I'm trying to open those holes, so I'll be using a wick. Twenty-five volts and two hundred and twenty farads. Okay, this one it's uh, sixteen volts and four hundred and seventy. It's, it's not this one. Let's check this ones. okay this one's uh 25 volts and uh 220 ferrets okay yeah this is the one 25 volts and the two yeah, yeah this is the one so what you do is you put it back here be careful with your negative and positive okay it's in not sure if you can see but it's in it's in guys and then you like to put the thing
Okay, uh, the other soldering wire was bad, it was very, very, very bad. Uh, I'll do a video showing a good and a bad uh, soldering wire. Why you should be careful and why you should buy the original soldering wire. I'll do a video. Let's remove this one. Okay, let's check the value for the one I just rem I just removed here. What was the value? Ten volts and uh, four hundred and seventy. I can use sixteen volts, four hundred and seventy microfarads. It's okay, no issues. Oh, this is perfect. Then we move to this one. Okay, this one is 10 volts, 470 as well. So what I, what I do is put some uh, some solder right there. Uh, some flaxy. Then you press with a wick. We could suck all the the thing the solder.
Okay, guys, I'm done. Let's see if the board is working or not. So I'm gonna connect a thing here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have a light there. I hope you can see there is a light. Okay, guys, I hope you can see it's uh it's working now it just went blue but this is it all right uh, i hope you can see no video no video what is this i uh, can't control this i think it's need a remote but this is it it's working 100 percent no issues anyway thank you so much and don't forget to press the subscribe button anyway thank you